Hey guys, I'm here to do an unboxing of a Creative Sound Blaster XFI HD external sound card. Now a lot of people don't consider a sound card as an essential component to their PC. However, if you're recording to your computer or you want the best possible playback on your headphones or sound system, a sound card is just as essential as a graphics card for gaming. Now when it comes to sound cards, there's a lot of options out there. There's internal sound cards that you have to install on your motherboard, like a graphics card. Then there's external ones like the one I have here that only require a USB cable to hook up. Now the biggest downside to internal cards is all the electrical components in your PC over here will create interference in the audio components and that can cause a hissing or crackling sound. In external cards, however, all the components are enclosed and shielded, giving you a clean output. All right, let's take a quick look at the box before we open it. Audio file performance, that's so they claim. Studio quality headphone preamp, that's good to know. Headphones or amplified speakers available separately. Damn, I thought it was gonna be all in this one box. All right, audio file grade components for high quality playback and recording, that's good. SBX Pro Studio is specially designed to bring the same great audio experience found in live performances, films, and recording studios. That's good. An easy to use suite of software applications for recording, converting, enhancing, organizing your digital music. Pass, I think I'll use my own components. All right, let's open this bad boy. Ugh. Maybe I should have. done this before but all right so pretty simple looking unit in the plastic packaging uh, you got two cables here one looks like an audio cable I believe it's a RCA adapter which I have and I got a Mogami which is better and the USB cable that came with it. And, uh, instruction manual. So this is the unit here. It's pretty simple. You can look in unit. This is the front. You got your uh, headphone input and microphone input. Uh, TSR one fourth connection. Volume knob to monitor the headphones. And on the back here, you got your line in, RCA, line out, and optical in and out, and your USB connection. So pretty simple package with two cables, but external card that should do what I'm looking for. All right, guys, that was just a simple unboxing. I'm going to have to use this unit for a while, and I'm going to do a full review after. So like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.